when I put it all together, the, uh, the 40 year commitment appears reasonable and fair, taking into account the unique circumstances of this case. So I'm gonna order that the commitment be uh, for 40 years. It's a long time, and when I, if you, when I think and reflect on it, 40 years to a 15 year old, what a long time that is. Yet there's more to it than just, just Ms. Geyser. Our focus to some extent is on what her status is today. But this is an issue of community protection. This is an issue to be sure there's no recidivism. This is an issue to ensure that Ms. Geyser doesn't have a revolving door situation where she ends up being in the community and then things fall apart and she comes back. Everyone who's in the legal system that's dealt with mental health issues from an NGI standpoint or from a civil commitment process know that individuals with mental health issues as well as they're medicated, as well as they're taken care of, frequently come back because they decompensate, something happens. The court has to be sure that when that happens, there's control, there's supervision. Thus, the length of the commitment, I believe, is appropriated 40 years, and that'll be the order of the court, uh, so ordered. 